Hello, my friends, and welcome, everyone. This is Deborah, the creative designer here at Cottage to Courtyard, and I'm so glad you're here to see what's new today. There's a lot to share, so let's get started, and, and you guys, please excuse the disarray that you'll see probably in the background. It's a hot mess express here. I'm moving things around. I've been working on a custom sewing project for a client. I've been repotting plants, so this is real life here at Deborah's house. I have a small haul to share along with some birthday gifts as well as a new decorating plan for our living room and some new designs that I've made. But before we get into that, I want to just thank you all for your input and comments on the last video regarding what finish you all like best in preparation for painting my large mirror. I absolutely loved your feedback, so thank you guys so much. All right, friends, now let's chat about the changes that I want to make to this living room. This is a view of the space at Christmas time showing the furniture placement really well. And I've had the furniture arranged like this since I moved in a year and a half ago. And now that I've lived here that long, I am ready to make some changes in several things. And first thing on the, the list is getting rid of the armoire there that houses our TV and moving the TV above the fireplace. Then I would move the wingback chairs and place the sofa on the large wall. Okay, you guys, here's a couple of Pinterest photos that I really like because of the soft color palette and the style. And you all know that I love gorgeous pillows, textiles, and old architectural pieces for a rustic luxe and garden-inspired look and feel. And what I'd like to find is either a pair of worn chippy wooden shutters like you see here or a pair of antique doors to place behind the sofa on the wall and then i'm also searching for a large pair of antique wooden corbels so we can make a shelf to hang above them this would all add so much character charm and texture to this area plus the shelf would be a great space to decorate so what do you all think the next addition to the living room is going to be a recliner for my hubby. You know, since he had a stroke last year, it's a little harder for him to get up and down on our Chesterfield sofa. So we've been looking at this handsome leather recliner for him from Pottery Barn, but we're hoping to find it at their outlet for a much better price. So fingers crossed we will. Okay, friends, now let's move on to the subject of the front door. And please, I beg your indulgence, no judging here. We are all aware of how bad the paint looks, and we're getting ready to remedy that and then some. The paint is going to be a beautiful sage green that was color matched in keeping with the HOA rules. But you know your girl, Deborah, I never leave well enough alone, and this front porch is going to get... A wonderful makeover it's not gonna know what hit it and I, I normally have my live topiaries and pots out there but they've all been removed getting ready for this project there's more to this porch area that I'm not showing you right now it's decorated really pretty and you'll see that in the reveal in a couple of weeks oh and that ugly brass kick plate that you see there at the bottom of the door it's getting a fabulous makeover too just wait till you see what I do with it Do you guys remember this chair wall planner that I've used in a few of my videos where I've decorated in the bedroom with it, etc.? Well, it's getting a new life and I can't wait to get this part done. It's going to be glued to the door and painted to look like a fabulous French carved applique. And I'll be adding seasonal florals to it, but the door makeover doesn't stop here. Oh no. Okay, guys, what you're seeing here is the front entry door to a fabulous shop called Brambles and Blossoms in Provo, Utah. And I've been wanting to add dried grapevines and stems around my front door for a long time. And so when I saw this, I knew I had to get this front porch transformed. I will have to say, though, that I won't be adding <clears throat> the grapevines as thick or as heavily as they are shown here on her door but it will be similar and will also look wonderful to add seasonal decor to it i can hardly wait i'm so excited to do this
Okay guys, now let's get into my tiny haul and a few of the gifts that I received for my birthday recently. First, let's talk about my love for French Andouze pottery. I love their large garden pots, but they're just a bit too pricey for me. So you can imagine how elated I was when I walked into our local Goodwill and saw this beauty sitting there. I couldn't run over to it fast enough. They had it priced at $19.99 and obviously didn't know what they had. But upon further inspection, I noticed a small <clears throat> thin crack in it, but that didn't deter me one bit. I marched my happy behind over to the checkout. I pointed out the crack and they discounted it to $7.99. Thank you, ma'am. Yippee. And she came home with me. So here's a look at the vase in all her loveliness and I will show you what I did to create a garden inspired rustic yet not ready for spring kind of look by adding just twig branches from Hobby Lobby, a bird's nest and some moss. Simple, easy and just the look I wanted. Next up is this gift that I received from my husband, this beautiful pair of candle holders from Amazon. I love the finish. They're lightweight and just gorgeous. This candle holder was a thrifted find for $4. It was actually once a lamp that someone just dismantled and made it into a candle holder. And I just love it. It was already painted that terracotta color. It's uh, heavy metal. And it also has places on it to hang crystals, so soon I'll be adding those to it. These two short antique gold metal candle holders were also a gift from my hubs. I also have the taller ones that match these, and I just love them. And the last gift that I have to show you is from my dear friend Sandy. It's from Hobby Lobby, and I will be putting her to good use. I named her Fifi LaRue, and she'll be coming in so handy when I debut my junky jeans and other apparel pieces very soon. Thank you, my sweet friend Sandy. I just love it. And I love you, my friend. All right, my patient friends, I'd like to show you all my latest creations by Cottage to Courtyard. I'm calling them lamp lavaliers. And I know that a lavalier is typically a piece of jewelry, but these are like jewelry for our lamps. So that's why I named them lamp lavaliers. And I think they're so cute. They just tie on to your lampshades and give them a sweet, soft French country or shabby chic look. This one is done in all neutrals, so it goes well with just about any look and lampshade style. Here's what it looks like with the lamp turned on. And here's the lavalier on another different lamp of mine so you can see how that looks too. Now let's take a look at a more colorful lavalier done in accents of red and cream toile and red and cream ticking for a more French country look. And if you notice I added a tiny heart with a button at the top for fun.
I'll be working on more lavalier designs in the next week or so and I'll be offering them in pairs for purchase so stay tuned if you're interested. These hearts on a string are new to my Cottage to Courtyard Comfort Collection line and I've done them in red and cream toile with red and cream ticking accents. They're 23 inches long and the hearts are 10 inches by 10 inches so they're a very nice size. And the last item I have to show you that I made is a single heart on a string, which is done in all neutrals. It measures 13 inches long, and the heart itself is 10 inches by 10 inches, so it's just really cute to hang anywhere. Before I close out the video, I just wanted to let you all know that I will have more items available for purchase very soon. If you're interested in, in having any of these made that I showed you, please comment here or message me over on my Instagram account at Cottage to Courtyard. Alright my dear friends, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate all your love and support. I'll be back very soon with more fun decorating here at Cottage to Courtyard. So until then, you all take care my lovelies. Bye bye.